Hi guys, welcome to this very first tutorial in this series of Programming PIC Microcontroller with Micro C Pro for PIC Compiler. This is an introductory video in this series. In the next videos, we're gonna learn more from simple blinking and LED to complex projects with USB, Wi-Fi, GSM, Ethernet and many more. Micro C Pro for PIC is a powerful feature-rich development tool for PIC microcontrollers. It's very easy to use with a highly advanced IDE. It's an ANSI compliant compiler. It has tons of hardware and software libraries which can make your life very easy as a programmer. It has a comprehensive documentation and plenty of ready to run examples. If you open the example folder, you're gonna find plenty of examples that you can start with. Micro C Pro for PIC supports 8 bit PIC microcontroller devices like the PIC 12, PIC 16, and PIC 18 series. A fully functional demo version of the compiler, limited to 2 kilobytes of output code size, can be downloaded from Microelectronica website. If you go to the Microelectronica website under the product, you're gonna see all the products that they sell from development board to compilers. They've got Micro C compiler for PIC, for DS PIC and PIC 24, for PIC 32, for AVR, for AT51, for ARM, and for FT90. They've got Micro Basic if you prefer to use basic language to develop your code. They've got Micro Pascal as well. In this tutorial, we're gonna use Micro C Pro for PIC. The current version is 6.61. The advantage of using Microelectronica product, once you buy your compiler, you are guaranteed for lifetime support. Whenever they've got a new version, you can upgrade your software for free. And it says you can download here a free compiler. It's a fully functional compiler but it's gonna limit your code size to two kilobytes. This is more than enough for simple project. There are plenty of support on this website. If you click library stock, this is a community website created by Microelectronica. It allows users to share their project and libraries. You can also browse for some tons of project and libraries on this page. Filter by your category. Let's say if you want some code with communication. Got about 288 at the moment. You can also create your user profile if you want to share your own code. And this page is always updated so you can always come back to find some new code or libraries files that have been uploaded either by Microelectronica or other users. From this page under the product, you can also buy some PIC development board and a thousand of add-on board. There is also a forum page. If you want to ask some questions, you can ask your question on, on this forum. Micro C Pro for PIC got also some very interesting tools that you can use. We've got the programmer. If you want to program your device, if you have written your code and you want to load it into your device, you can need the microprog suit, which is very easy to use. You just select the device that you're going to use. In this tutorial, we're going to use the PIC18F 45K22. All you just need, you can load your code to your X file and write. Then you're going to start loading your code into your programmer. We've got some other interesting tool. The package manager which handles the micro C libraries. We've got the ASCII chart. This is a very interesting tool when you are writing your code. If you want to know the equivalent of certain characters in other decimal, hexadecimal or in binary. We've got the EEPROM editor. This is a powerful tool for programming EEPROM memory. It is designed to provide an easy and quick programming for many different types of microcontroller. You can just select your microcontroller here. 
we've got the graphical LCD bitmap editor. This tool converts a bitmap image into a data stream array that could be displayed on a graphical LCD. This tool is going to generate a code which is going to be equivalent to the bitmap image. This code can be easily inserted into the microcontroller source code. We've got the HID terminal. This is a HID terminal for USB communication. We've got the LCD, custom character. If you want to write your own character on the LCD. We've got the micro bootloader. If you want to use a bootloader, you've got the seven segment editor. It make very easy. If you want to you write a code to control a seven segment display, You've got a UDP terminal, you've got a USART terminal for serial communication, UDP terminal for Ethernet communication, and you've got a USB HID bootloader. All these tools can really make your life very easy as a programmer. So let us start a new project. This is just going to be a simple project to show you how you can use Micro C Pro for PIC. You can start from this shortcut, you can click on new project or you can come to file, new project. We're going to use the, the wizard, click on next. Here you're going to give your project a meaningful name. We're going to say blinking LED. Select the folder where you're going to save your project. We're going to save our project on the desktop. We're going to create a new folder. We're going to rename our folder to Blinking LED. Open. Enter your device clock frequency. We're going to run our project with 32 MHz. Click Next. Here you can add some file to your project. In this case, we don't have any file that we're going to add. To our project so i'm gonna click next here you can select other include all you can also select none then you're gonna add your own libraries In this case we're gonna select the default click next gonna tick this to open edit project windows to set our configuration bit click finish if you don't set it then you're gonna use the default configuration bit here you can select the PIC microcontroller you're going to use, we forgot to change our PIC, you can always change it later. We're going to use the PIC 18A45K22. You're going to see whenever you select a new PIC, the configuration bit might change because each PIC microcontroller has its own configuration bit. That's why a code generated by PIC microcontroller might not always work. If you load it into another PIC, it's always important. Whenever you change a PIC microcontroller, you must come to this edit project and change your configuration bit. We said we're going to use 32 MHz frequency. The oscillator, we're going to select the HS. The XT is for low frequencies, below 4 MHz. The HS is a medium power from 4 to 16 MHz. You can also select any internal oscillator. If your peak has got an internal oscillator, in our case, we're going to use an external oscillator, which is going to be 8 MHz. This is our circuit. We're going to use an external oscillator, crystal oscillator, which is going to be 8 MHz. We're going to have an external reset circuit to reset our circuit. And we're going to connect our LED to port B0. So the most important things in this configuration bit is going to be the oscillator circuit and the reset circuit. So the oscillator we said is going to be 8 MHz. To make it to 32, then we're going to use the PLL. If we enable it, then it's going to be 8 MHz times 4, which is going to give us 32 MHz. To whatever you're not going to use, it's always good to disable it. Like the fail safe clock monitor, we're just going to disable it. The brown out reset. You can always disable it. If you're going to need it, we, go, we can disable it. The watchdog timer, we're going to disable it. So the other important thing we're going to need is to enable our MCR pin. 
it's already enabled by default but if you don't want to reset your circuit you can always disable it and that's all guys click ok this is your the code editor where you can write your code you start with the main function you can always start with some comment it's always important you can write some few comments like your project name the date whatever development bot you're gonna use or any important note that you think it's important to include in our case we're just gonna write the name of the project blinking and led the author is gonna be student companion you must note that with micro c if you want to write a comment you can use the double forward slash to write a comment on that line the other important thing you're gonna note this is the code explorer this gives you a clear view of each item declared inside the source code you can see we've got only one function which is the main function there's nothing else we've got the project settings this section can give you a quick way to to change some few things on your project like to change the device if you want to use another peak microcontroller you can change your frequency here you can also select the type of the debugger the other thing which is also important is a library manager on this section here it's gonna show you all the libraries which are installed inside the compiler as you can see it's plenty of them we've got the ADC library we've got the C math you've got the I squared C the keep it you've got so many libraries RS485 SPI SPI Ethernet and plenty more if you want to use a, a specific library we just have to tick on this checkbox next to the name of the library if you want to use it in this project you can just untick it it is it as is that the other important thing that we like to show you guys is the project manager this allows users to manage multiple projects as you can see I've got two projects I can close this one you can say remove project yes or you can add another one if you want to manage multiple projects in this section you can also add some file into your project add file you can add or you can remove some files into your project so guys that's all let us write a simple code to switch on and off an led at an interval of one second this is a simple code to switch on and off an led the first thing to set the direction of our port we're gonna learn more about these registers the tri-state register the late register the delays in the next tutorial this is just to set the direction of our port to set it an output then we're gonna switch off the led if after one second we're gonna switch it on then we're gonna switch it off we're gonna switch it on and after a one second again we're gonna switch it on again because it's inside a while one loop it's gonna loop continuously so let us build our project this section here is to build a project to generate an X file that we can load into our peak microcontroller the build was successful if there were some errors it's gonna show you that there were errors if you want to start programming you can click on build and start programming it's gonna load the programmer you can see it's gonna load the programmer then if you you click on write and your programmer is connected to your PC then it's gonna load the code into the programmer into your peak in this case we're not gonna use the programmer because we're gonna use the simulation so we're gonna start our stimulation right click on your peak edit project then we're gonna load the X code that was generated by our compiler browse and select the code and select the X file that was generated by a compiler we saved our project on the desktop and under the blinking LED this is our blinking LED dot X open click OK 
Then if I run my simulation, you can see my LED switch on for one second and off for one second. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials. And I'll see you guys in part two. Thank you.